The government says it has accepted the overwhelming popular vote to leave the European Union. I'd just like to introduce you to this really most interesting film. This is clearly a momentous occasion. I don't know who to vote for. The politicians in this country don't have any power to make any decisions anyway. To withdraw from the European Union and its ambition of a single European state. The Lisbon Treaty is the game changer. Yes. It changes yes. everything. In accordance with Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, the UK government will tomorrow be serving a notice on the presidents of the European Commission. The Bruges Group is a think tank. We were founded after a speech by Margaret Thatcher, the, the then UK Prime Minister. Minister. Mr Farage acknowledged the potential of Article 50 for an orderly exit. At the moment, Britain gets about 1,000 new regulations a year, and that will drop to about 350 a year. Those opposing further EU integration say Britain could rejoin EFTA. The Prime Minister confirmed it wouldn't be in the interests of business to leave the EU. Norway is a booming country. Its fleets are allowed to catch 40 times more cod in its territorial waters than British boats. People deciding on their own future. Many of the international rules are made of up in quite different bodies. EU is effectively just the middleman. The EU is not creating the standards. The Norwegian people have voted no twice. Norway manages very well outside the EU, financially and economically. One of the things I've noticed is how very much government is not in your face here. With the EEA agreement we have um, nearly free trade with the EU and it works very well. I think a lot of people have a curious view that were we to leave the European Union, there would be battleships up and down the English Channel. The Norway option, membership of the European Free Trade Area in friendship with our friends on the mainland is one which is open to us and should be followed. Senior political commentators have begun debating the significance of the Norway option, but we can all imagine a brighter future than the announcement many long for comes to pass. I think there will come a moment when a decision has to be reached.